Today we're going to talk about decision making when Bitcoin's kind of at these impasse moments. Because Bitcoin is at this impasse moment right now. Where it has this four hour trend, it's holding weekly, it's back tested this weekly. Yeah. Um, that's pretty interesting what Bitcoin is doing right now, actually. Hopefully everybody's had a pretty good week, recovered and everything, and a good time and all that, uh, all that good stuff. Trading Bitcoin nicely. So, one of the first things to... I'm going to turn the music off, actually, for this. Or maybe just straight down, so it's just like a soft background noise. Yeah, there we go. You probably can't even hear it anyways. So, one of the things that we can know about Bitcoin right now is... Uh, like, it has been rejecting weeklies like crazy. So, th this has been kind of the tone of, uh, of Bitcoin right now, right? Like you have this right here, which is going to be really important for us now. Typically, I wouldn't mark this, but it is going to be really important for us now to uh, to have this to see if we can create a trend from from this to that or uh, use it as a reverse in the future. Because I do think this signifies going into accumulation from 20K at this point. I do think that if we test this and hold it, you do create some kind of trend that goes like this so that that's going to be pretty important. That's the first thing we need to uh, we need to realize. And so why do we need to know that? Anybody care to guess? Like, why all of a sudden is that important? I'll give you a hint. It has to do with weekly uh, weekly time frames. <laughs> and nothing on the top side of the chart, by the way. Nothing, uh, nothing, nothing up here. Nothing up here. Although it is nice that you do have a weekly right here. You did hard close above it fail and then reject this uh, reverse, whatever was in here, whatever reverse held it here. Not why the top stopped, but you know, just a nice little coincidence. But yeah, why is this weekly so important right now? Because we have to start thinking like Bitcoin is in one of these impasse moments. Like you have these kind of multi-week moves, right? Like if you were to uh, go here and Let's go like this, turn it all off, right? Mm, we missed something somewhere. Okay, group one can be deleted, obviously. It's nothing. Like you see these multi-week impasse moments, right? Like these, oh, look at this impasse moment. Right, like it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, going on eight weeks now, right? Like eight weeks, kind of the same thing that you would see here, right? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? Like it's, it's, at, it's at one of these decision points where it's, you know, is it going to move up? Is it going to move down? What's it doing? This one is pretty easy to see because it's like, you know, it laddered here, it laddered here, it laddered off that daily, continuously held its move and then just broke over the backside valley, right? Like that, that one was easy to see. Have a backside valley here, break over top of it, use it as support in the future, like gain a backside valley. That's, that's pretty easy to see, right? Two weeks of straight distribution, the move holds. Uh, two weeks of straight accumulation, the move holds, right? Like that's going to be pretty important there. But like, why else is this important? I call, Like this is like an impasse moment, right? Like same, same thing here. Like you hit a top or whatever, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten weeks and then it, you know, holds its weekly down right here. So so kind of kind of moves up for ten weeks, holds its weekly down, right? Like it's just a pr pretty straightforward, right? Like pretty, pretty straightforward. This is the same thing here you know, have a weekly backside. And that's really going to be one of the key metrics here is this weekly backside. That's that's the first thing we need to see. Like one of those, those key metrics is going to be like gaining that weekly backside and then and then having that move. You know, it, it looks a lot like this right now, right? Where you don't really have any established backsides. You just can't quite get over them. You inverse off this part of the move um, prior, just like you're inversing off whatever it is up here. We're just going to mark it here because that's, that's the daily we looked at last week. So that's fine. We, you could just mark it there. Um, yeah, the backside you have formed is right here, right? So right now, Bitcoin has been going through kind of this queue of testing of weekly levels. It's it's pretty important to see like these impasse moments. We have to look at them. Okay, dude. Okay, dude, uh, really? 
just turn this off for now. It's clearly, uh, I have to, have to work on it a little bit there. Um, so yeah, like weekly events, they're, they're pretty important here, right? Like you, you can see where the weekly events are important on uh, this side of the chart, but maybe not the instant hold level might not be important. Like the immediate hold level might be, you know, it's a good move to gain, you move down, but then really the gaining of the backside is going to be where, you know, you, you have more of the uh, critical information, right? The gainings of, the, the, of these backsides here, gaining of this backside, gaining of this backside, like it's a whole bunch here. I'm sure this is like maybe a monthly hold level by the looks of it. But, you know, right now, you've, you've got to start making some kind of conclusion with Bitcoin. You've got to start deciding on where this thing is going. And some of the important information here is the fact that you do have this weekly right here, right? So you have one weekly there and you have one here. I have them both marked out in purple on my screen. So you have one here, which is the immediate hold level, and you have one here, which is the uh, the backside level. So, I mean, the setup is there, right? Like the setup to dump the move is there. That That's the first kind of key piece of information. Next, if you go to the daily, you'll see that just in like a perfect queue of events, like you can delete this one, you can delete this one. They're no longer useful. In a perfect, and we'll, we'll even just delete this four hour. That's fine. It doesn't really, uh, doesn't really matter. We just re-add a weekly here. Um, you can see almost like a perfect queue of events. Hello? Whatever, we'll do it manually. Screw it, we'll do it manually. Um, you can see almost in like a perfect queue of events. Weekly backside is hit, weekly front side is hit, right? So backside tested, front side tested. Um, start to lose levels and really get this move crushed down, right? Like that, that's kind of the thing about this trade is that if you start to lose these levels, you, you know, you're going to get this thing pretty crushed down. So we need to look for some pretty interior stuff before this thing, you know, starts, starts this wild rampant journey down if it's going to, right? Like it can still break up its move. Like this origin has been holding like a, just, a, just absolute frontline warrior. This, this origin, like it is just insane. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. 11 tests of this and it's been holding for over 31st to what the sixth. So it's been holding for a, a, a week straight. Like that was the thing about losing this level up here. That was the first part of this setup. This origin holding is going to be the next part. And, and now we're kind of in this interior scape right now where, you know, you've already tested back this weekly here. You've already tested this weekly here. So really this move should dump, but if it does hit this and hold, this is going to be signifying that it's actually holding its move. So this is going to be pretty important to say like, okay, if this level actually holds, you're going to have an interior trend here. So you're going to have like an interior trend there, right? So you're going to have interior and you're going to have exterior, right? So you're going to have both, both parts of this trade being fulfilled. You're going to have that kind of exterior component, which is um, a global off this legacy or a local to the global, right? Like you might not, you might not want to call this a legacy yet, but you'd call this global because this right now it's localized to this piece of the move. But once this comes down and tests this weekly level, then obviously it's not going to be uh, localized anymore. This piece of the move, because it has one more trend in front of it, almost like this trend is its shield. So it then converts this to a uh, global level, which, which is going to be important. So if this does test and hold, it's kind of like an immediate call to wake up and, and start thinking about longs in Bitcoin, because it sure does look like it's going to dump right now. So I think that's one. I think that's one really important queue of events that's going to happen. Like, I think this thing has a magnet on it. This 19,000 level has an, has an absolute magnet on it. So like a $4,000 price drop here could be, um, in order and it makes sense. And, and then, and then this level gets hit this weekly level gets hit. And if you get back over top of this, then, you know, the move is kind of get a, get a move up, I think to these upper ranges. So, you know, really that's one of the most important things right now is that this weekly, weekly level has been tested this, this, uh, Backside level has been tested. And so like they've both been hit pretty perfectly. Weekly, weekly. This deep dives it a little bit, but ultimately holds the level, right? Like that's it ultimately just holds its level like uh like pretty well. So so right now, you know, you're kind of at this moment. Like, is this trend gonna break or are you gonna gain this right? Like th this is where you're stuck right now. This is this is a big piece of where you're stuck right now. Right? Like you're gonna gain this origin and start moving up again, or did this setup was it enough to crush Bitcoin down? While well, we're gonna see, I mean, this trend has been holding for quite a bit. Um, this trend is an adapted trend. It is it is an adapted trend because you know what? You don't have anything on the daily. You just have kind of your like your first daily point there. So if you were to move it here, you, you'd get very much the same result. But you know, you just want to pin it to the four because it was it was derived from this four here to this four here to this four here. So like it is trying to create some kind of accumulation here. So it, it will need to hit this test and then you know keep keep laddering up against. So what would be the next step in this thing? We can create a weekly origin and then it can also go and create one on the top. Um, 
I wouldn't be looking that long term right now. Fredly, I wouldn't be looking that long term for the simple fact that the monthly can still be in play right now. Like monthlies are going to be starting to be in play soon on Bitcoin. Um, even possibly like this, which is which is very close. So if you if you go and test this out here, it, it just gives you like a really, really, really great point to uh, start attaching your, your more important information like this one here, your monthly. So it just gives you a really nice point to start creating um, those kind of attachment points on the on the monthly time frame. Yeah, you're really you're you're just kind of going back down here, in in my opinion. And uh, once you hit this level, if it holds, obviously you reject the creation of that monthly, right? Which, which is a big deal too. Like creating that monthly is a, is a pretty pretty goddamn big deal, right? So, um, likely you are just moving down here, but again, at the same time, that doesn't mean it's a guarantee. Next step for the dump, yeah. Well, what would it be, Nuke? That's true, but what would it be? You're starting to do like meta analysis now, right? Like you're starting to to try to say like, okay, well, there's just going to be a swing trade coming in soon. So it's time to do meta analysis to find that that correct spot. Have that bigger trade on the books. Have that longer term target. What would you be looking for right now? You know, you've got origin, right? First thing to identify, I'll start you off is that this four hour reverse has been hit. So this four hour reverse is tested. So it can't be that. So you're just kind of back at the origin level, right? Like if the origin level continues to hold. You got to just start looking down in time frames, right? Like this thing is pretty much reversing right now. Like you've already hit your range up here. Like this four hour range gets hit right here, right? That's already hit there. <clears throat> this origin here has been holding the move down, right? Like you have been hitting this origin. If you go up and attack it again, I think you're, you're there's not much that can really hold this. If you go up, I would think maybe it can hit this and then have like a huge dump. Maybe, but I would be very cautious of that. Maybe you can reverse off of like this one right here, but I would be cautious of, you know, breaking this trend right now. Um, not to say that this trend break is the final moment, but it's just going to fuel an attack. So, you know, if you're shorting right after this trend breaks, it's it's tough. It's tough because, yeah, like I'm sure there's some like one minute hold level that gets hit, right? One minute hold level here. This one was hit. Uh, backside is getting hit right now back tested trend to hold trend. So like the whole queue of events is just like going straight forward. Like it's very straightforward, right? Like th this one minute here was uh, this here, which is tested on this candle here. This one minute here goes back and back test trend. Like this is about as ABC of a trade as it gets. It's only 20%. So it's about as ABC of a trade as you could have been in. You could have been in from here and seeing if this trend can hold or not. And that's very simple. And you can start switching time frames, but really the one minute is gonna show you the final points of the other uh, time frames and the combos anyways. Really want to set up some higher time frame inverses. It's not on the daily end. Except for them. Keep holding the origin. Break both the four hour origin and the bottom. Yeah, you got to think more local though, man. You got to think more local. You missed this trade on the setup on top because you refused to see the setup up here. Because you didn't see how this could set up the move. So you missed that there. So you can't be you can't be thinking about origins on the bottom and you know set it up and blah blah blah. Like, yes, you do have the origin here. I know which one you guys are talking about. You're talking about this, so you're going. You know, you're, you're bouncing between two origins right now, but when one breaks, it's gonna, like the whole fucking thing is going to be gone. You're going to be up here or way down here, pardon my language, but you're going to be like the whole thing's going to be crushed, right? So you have to you have to focus a little more interior. So you have to start focusing down on time frames and just starting to ask the questions like, OK, which side is breaking? Like this is where we have to do our investigative work and say which side is breaking. So you have to start defining those roles hourly here. You know, this is never back tested, so you have an hourly here. But this hourly hold level has been holding the move down. So you're likely moving down again still, right? You're still likely moving down because if this has been holding and this has been laddering, it means that your, your move on the on the top is holding, right? And then so you have this right here. You have this right here, right? You're just reversing this move. You know, this one would be next. Maybe you have a localized origin that got hit as well. So origin on the top. Is there an origin on the bottom? 
Mm, not really. None of this stuff is really, I would even bother with it. Origin here holding, origin here holding. Like I would start looking at the, uh, even this, like none of that can be true because this is all here. There's not really any like, like which side is building architecture? That's what you want to ask. Which side is building architecture? This has untested levels, so it's perfectly clear to go down here and test these levels. There's nothing wrong with testing these levels. You know, you come up here, hit this origin, test this level back. What about 15 minutes? Is there any kind of like information here we can gleam off of 15? Some form of polarity is off of here. You can see it. Base of the move, never back tested. So you have to start for you have to start creating that architecture, right? Like you have to start developing what would actually hold this move. There it is right there. That's that point. So that that's your re-entry, right? Like that's the re-entry if this thing can hold. So this can go and, and, and back test this. So this can hit this back test it. At that point, you're losing your origin though. You so see you're you're dropping the origin to hit your polarity. Hit the one hour, go out of that side. So let's work on the top here. Origin's holding it down, it can keep hitting targets below, right? Like start start that think line of thinking. Create the origin, it can start hitting targets, right? Like it can start hitting this origin here, it can start hitting the weekly. That that origin is continuously holding. So you can start hitting that and you can go after the weekly. Like it, it holds again, so that's great. Like it, you hit your first target, awesome. Then it can go after the weekly maybe, hits that second target, goes after this. So, so there's a pretty critical trend right here. Like you can see it before we move forward. There's a pretty critical trend right here, right? Like other t other time frame, pretty critical trend. Hit that, lose that trend. So you drop trend there. So you hit backside, drop trend, hit your next target. Okay, so the move is developed in that way. You've had the origin confirm, right? This is your four hour. Don't mind these hard closes. It hasn't hard closed on the four. You have your hard, you have your, your trend, right? Like this was trying to break the move right here. Oh, come on, dude. Right here, right here. This is trying to break the move. Origin's established. Uh, or, or I should say, four hour hold levels rejected. Origin's established. Target is hit. Go down. Origin again. Trend is created. Target top side is hit. Target bottom side is hit, right? Like, so, so, so you have this trend that was trying to break the move. Like, as far as you knew. Come on. Right here, everything looked good to break up. Everything looked like fantastic to break up. Then, nope, just kidding. Hit the weekly setup, the breakout. Like, it cr creates the setup for this thing to go down, right? So it's just still going after targets on the bottom side, especially, especially since you just hit this and this is laddering it. Like, you will have some type of localized trend like this. Uh, separate time frame, but you can just mark it like this to understand that this is what hit polarity and this is what created polarity. So that this is kind of like just marking trend off polarity, right? So this is a pretty uh, pretty important trend. Like you can see it hit right there perfectly. Like that was a pretty important trend. So this trend is holding. Let's see what keeps happening here. Like this this trend is holding right now. Like this thing looks like it's ready to dump, right? So um, you cannot kind of actually even just like delete this one because this is, you, well, you can have them both. That's fine. You can have them both. But like this one's just going to adapt anyways to create the next point based on, you know, whatever next is, is hit. So so you you can, if you follow the flow of this chart, you can see where this is creating distribution right now. Origin, test, origin, tried to break, create a trend, broke that trend, hit this level, test. Create a trend off polarity once again, off of refused closing of polarity, creates trend. Trend suppressing the move, going down. Like this is your next target here. So, you know, th th this is where you have to see that there's kind of an architecture forming in this trade. There's kind of a, a very straightforward, queue of, of events that's happening like there's you know i'm sure there's like a localized polarity point right here in the move that's going to be holding it like we can go take a look and see what we can find but um yeah right here right 15 minute yep that's very easy to find 15 minute um okay so even look at the queue of this or um break level hits holds moves down hits the break level ladders off it so anything like anything in this moment here this moment right here Anything that would have been right here, a separate time frame. Did it break? You have to find the time frame that it's on first. Looks like it's the three. Yeah, it broke. It broke, so that's gone. So now you're more like something like this, right? Something like that. Five minute to 
five minute here, which goes to right here, which is the same thing as that three. So it would have been that three. Uh, yeah, no, <laughs> no, that doesn't tell us anything locally. And actually that might not even be the right level. Cause it looks like you would have had this hard close here, maybe. And to here, maybe I, I haven't actually done this, but I'm going to, I'm going to go with that three minute right here. I'm going to go with that three minute from here, which is also that five to right here. I think it was this one or this one, one of these two. I, I'm just going to mark it to this one. You, anyways, you can see. So even locally, you can see the trail and what's being created on this thing, right? Like even locally, you can still see the, the larger picture of this is that you're still holding this move down. Like, yes, this is a nice little attack, but um, this 15 minute base point. If you lose this, I think it's time to short. You could try to short this right here. That moment is passed, obviously. You could have taken the one minute off of that, but that moment has obviously passed. Backside of this trend break is confirmed. It has tested. Is it going to move up off of this? Mm, not so convinced, but, but what I do like about this trade is losing this 15 right here. I think if you lose this 15, you can get the back test of it as a short. I think that's a smart trade. If you were in this right now, that would have been a smart trade off that one because you could see if this 15 minute can gain here. Because if you gain this 15 minute level, then you can go attack that. But like, it doesn't take a lot here to see like the over the overall architecture of this chart from this point, like what's happening. Creates this point, creates a ladder point. Tries to break the move, creates a new ladder point tries to use this ladder point to break that move up higher it still is rejecting the original polarity so the polarity has been holding the whole time and while this polarity had while this polarity had held right here after this moment created your first point down your second point down while still having this the only thing is that you you did back test this but it still holds the polarity so really you could just say that this doesn't even matter so the polarity is still holding so you are breaking ladder points down off of this polarity and you are still moving down off of the top of this move so like it's 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 straightforward in a way and um well i guess we're gonna see what happens here pretty interior wise over the next little bit but th this this definitely was kind of the play here right now just recently i guess you could try to figure out a short prior but you'd be shorting your shield from the other trade We'll downtrend through 15 minute origin to do another attack on the four hour origin bottom side ladder point. Uh, you know, at this point, I would just say that, you know, once this collapses, I don't think the move is necessarily done once this collapses, but, but like, I'm pretty sure this is going to create another like four hour level here somewhere. Yeah. Like that, 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 that's, that, that's a lot of 15 minute candles, dude. Like that's a lot of 15 minute candles. Maybe it creates a one hour backside. One hour backside right here off this polarity so you're just gonna go back up and test polarity but like this thing is is just it just keeps creating more and more and more like moves down if you break this one hour here you can go see if you can hit that four hour again because that's that timing factor right so then you take it one step further it's also a 15 where's the 15 on this side well the 15 on this side is right here so you do have 15 between 15. So like you, you do have a clear indication on either side here, like a, a pretty small bracket right here. Like you, you have a really small bracket right here that this thing is living in right now. It's, it's not, it's not a lot either. Like this is a pretty, this is a pretty small amount. Like you can safely take a short here without too much worry. You do have a tiny bracket this is living in between deciding if it wants to see if the four hour on top can break, but more likely the setup is already there so that it just starts moving down. And then like here is your next target, something like this. Oh, like it's, it's pretty decent. It's pretty decent. It's like, it's all at two and a half percent there. Right. But who's to say this is going to hold like 
that's the thing higher time frame and the, the architecture that's showing it to you is is kind of there like it's there if you start breaking this local stuff you might go up here and break that and uh end up hitting this and creating like a longer time frame move off of this somewhere like if you hit this but uh it's a lot less likely for for sure right now you've got two sides of it right like it's, it's trying to break the top side of its move so look at the interior piece. What happens on the interior? Follow that queue of events. Do the same thing. Just start to figure out the architecture of the queue of events from this side. Okay. Break level, hit. Doesn't break the move. So it can go up and attack its next level, right? Because when a break level is hit and it doesn't break the move, it can go up and attack its next level because that's kind of what happens with these break levels, right? They, like, they get hit and when they reject, they go up and attack something higher and then to see if it can continuously hold it to continuously attack higher targets right like that's how they work these these break levels they they reject and they go and attack a higher target and then it goes back to the origin and attacks an even higher target right like it's kind of just just the flow of the way origins work so follow this queue no 15 minutes created yet there's nothing here there's nothing there like there's no 15 minutes created yet this, there can't there can't possibly be unless you get up to here which i don't think you ever really do okay Break to break, what's next? So, so we've got the first piece of this puzzle figured out. Break to break. We don't want to look too interior. We don't want to look too much at like this because it's just, you know, superseding. Um, we can look at it now, right now. Like if we were in this trader now, you could say, okay, next break level would be here. This would be like the next origin. If this can hold, then maybe you can create this one, right? Like maybe that would be the queue. If this one holds, then you can go and create that one. See how it hits it and creates it? Because you're, you're just doing like an interior queue, right? You're just doing an interior queue. Okay, well, that one held, so you're gone, right? Like, that's, that's, you, we can leave this for illustration, but that, that's the next part. Okay, this held on this side. Great. You have some kind of like interior trend right here. Perfect. You have some kind of like little interior trend. The queue is completed so far, right? What happens? Now you got to start moving up off this trend because now the piece that's in play is this trend. You know, it's no longer this, it's now it's the trend. So now you've got some kind of trend work on the top that'll be formed. Okay, it's really not looking good. So already we can see that the queue of this trade, like for first off, this trend has to hold. Second off, the top's already compressing it down against targets to collapse this trade. So let's just continue to see what, what happens here. Okay, so that's that trend on top hit from up here. I don't even know if we want to call it this, but we can for now. Okay, tries to break the move, fails to break it. Drops trend. Uh, trend is actually still kind of in play, isn't it? Maybe we need to ditch this five minute trend. I think we need to ditch this five minute trend. I think we need to ditch this. Yeah, yeah, we do. But you can see the queue that's happening. There's that origin being hit because we followed the logical flow of what is being created. So, so one of the key pieces here is that you are following the flow of what's being created. So this is like BE2 stuff, right? Butterfly effect two. You're creating a logic flow inside of this and you're seeing what is being created and what is compressing the move. And you can see that like this thing is getting crushed down. Like this thing is getting effing destroyed right now. Like. It can't even go back up and target this. It's, it's almost trying to drop trend. If eventually it holds long enough and you create some other time frame to support it up, like you continuously back test and hold this. But for now, you can see where this thing is just like dropping levels. Like you can, you can just see where like on the bottom side of this chart, this thing has been dropping levels the whole time. It failed to establish here. It dropped to trend. You don't have a trend on the top yet. You don't have like, look, like you have more legacy trends, which is fine. It's going to fuel a bigger attack, but you don't, you like, you don't even have... Like, what do you have? Something from this point? Like, so what? You have something like this? Like, that's nothing. That's not a trend that we use, right? Like, this is way too localized to even create trends. So what are you going to do? Like, something like this? Again, it's it's too localized. It doesn't matter. It's, you got a lot. You got two larger trends here in play, right? You've got your one hour from here where you test it because that's the queue that you created, right? The same queue where you're looking for this little baby trend is the same queue you created here. If polarity reject the origin right like range trend this is like a an advanced way to look at a range trend right polarity polarity because that's what range trends exist sometimes is you know 
back testing polarity points creates a range trend. Polarity here creates the reach. Polarity up here creates a base. Polarity play. So like it's not really important to tr to create these trends here. They they don't they don't matter. But <clears throat> you know when we look at the architecture of this trade, <coughs> just like we talked about last week, because this is what I want people to start seeing, is is these these setups right? Like these setups like this. This is showing you how to trade for the future like this setup was here it was perfect right so up here it's like holy crap look at that setup about to happen kind of the same thing right now it's like oh look at look at how this thing just keeps dropping levels on the bottom and you know it doesn't have much longer before it can go here so th this is this is super important in like the way we have to look at trades and setups and you know dropping levels is, is how i would call it like you're dropping levels on the bottom side of this chart rapidly can't hold the origin here you can't even barely this isn't even an origin it wasn't even tested so you can you, you didn't even effing test this origin dude like you didn't even test it so even right now there would be like you know a lack of test there create this origin but but at first you already created this origin and then you lost that origin and then you created this one which was trend after losing this local one right here and then so fine you have this holding off trend so uh, almost like you have two or three moments left in this like you almost have like two or three unhit like hidden shields in this and, and one of them is going to be like oh you know go here and then go here like this and then you're going to have your trend like that so that's going to be equal to this so like if this had like body armor on it or whatever you want to call it like this doesn't have anything left it has zero so when it loses its trend the move is gone this thing still has two or three shields it can develop like it, it hasn't even created them yet on the top side it still has like a trend it can create it still has so yeah, okay, fine. You fly up here, you go like this, you hit this body right here. That creates your trend. Great spot to short. Then maybe you're equalized to here. After after this trend freaking holds, like this, then this trend can hold like six or seven times, just like it did here, right? So like what you you're so far away right now. But you're you're like you're dropping the base of this move right now. You still have so much more left that, that can happen up here. But for now, you're you're like you're dropping this level right now. So that's what people need to start seeing is that set up that flow of architecture through the charts. This is more like advanced butterfly effect two stuff, but happy to teach it today. Kind of just in a mood to just go a little deeper than we usually do. Hopefully this kind of like insight to the trade and how it's developing right now helps. I, well, I know it will for sure, but you know, hopefully this really helps people see, see the trades in a different way. Like you have to start looking at setups because this setup is telling you like <laughs> origins can't hold. You've created your trend, like final moments are in place. You know, I hit this origin right here. It's just, it's very straightforward. It's very straightforward. Like this moment right here <laughs> is, is almost akin to this one right here. Like look how much you have left. So. Look, look how much you still have left. And, and this like, okay, so maybe, maybe you could even justify saying like, okay, fine. We have this as a trend right now. That's maybe like an equalized point, but like, look at how much you have left. That means this trend can sit here and hold all day, you know? So th 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 like, there's no rush here because if this is true, cause, cause this moment is akin to this. And this thing has been holding, holding, tries to break, tries to hold, creates the distribution point. So if it fails this to break this trend, like, like I said, this thing just kind of looks like it's about to dump. <laughs> like there's, there's not much like this side of the, the chart is so much more accelerated than the top side. So like any little like pin drop in this thing is gone. This, this thing has to hold and continuously push and pound and knock at the door and be, be the big bad wolf and huff and puff and just sit there and just blow and blow and blow and blow until finally it breaks. But this, this like little pin drop down here and this thing's busted. <clears throat> So this, this moment is akin to like back here and look how much this just has tried to break already. Like there's nothing left. So yeah, I mean, the only saving grace is if you start moving up here and then you go like this and then like that, and then, then like this and drop here. And then maybe you can boost up because all this crap is broken. But you know, for now it looks like an attack is happening on the bottom side. And if that attack on the bottom side rejects to happen, if that, if that deviates away from happening, then maybe you will do that. But for now it just doesn't look good for Bitcoin. Marking levels under accumulation. What do you mean levels under accumulation?
343 was also a more reversible app. 343. Yeah, it's possible that it is. That that's that's very possible. Like a very, very possible that, that it was. Parking levels under accumulation. I'm not sure if I understand that gamma. What do you mean when you say under accumulation? Love what you get in these moods, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But marking the levels and as part of DFT2, for example, the weekly level mark, the weekly level appropriate mark. I could have seen it in the It only means when you mark the backside. I think you're talking about like okay so you're talking about the purple levels here so you're talking about like <clears throat> which one let's let's say though well, i have three marked like we have let's go from bottom to top this is one this is two this is three gamma which one are you talking about are you talking about number one number two or number three well you do that i'm gonna get a water because there's like a little bit of a delay here so by the time i read it you'll i'll be back or something i'll be right back guys guys and gals number three so that is the creation of this weekly hold level. It's just like the creation rejection going to be clarity for the level. Rejection is target, I think. Lesson six of BFE2. Yes, exactly. Yeah, 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 for sure. That's that's 100% correct there, Nuke. Rejection as a target is because this is such a big level, it will use it as rejection because it has to gain it in order to create it as polarity for the future. So yeah, there's something pretty important here that I want people to realize. And that is that the draw, like keep that term in your head, keep that term fresh in your head, dropping a level and what it means to drop a level is to start compressing against it. Obviously, like you can see it on this top side of the chart against this. If you were simply to delete all this other stuff, you would, <laughs> it would be pretty hard to, to not see it. Like, or even if you did something like. Just look at your ladder points. Test. Here. 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 No, even just look at look at it like that. Whatever, just attack float some random trend just for illustration purposes. Like if you keep doing that, you're gonna lose a whole move. So you have to start thinking about dropping levels. Like what, what causes you to drop a level? And that's the exact same thing we did last week. That's the exact same thing we looked at up here. Polarity up top. Base of a move, right? Start creating the criteria to break it down. Create the criteria to hold it equally on this side, right? Create that criteria there for our backside in the future, which is just the four hour range right here for our range. Backside creation. Right. So, so you have to start thinking about that as the same thing. Like what is, what is going to drop your levels? Like even right here, this four hour right here would be pretty important too. That level get over top of it. I don't, I don't really, I don't really think that's important yet, but maybe for the future, but for now, I don't think so. But you have to think about that. Like, um, again, just take last week's lesson on how we created the perfect setup and start creating them on lower time frames. Because especially right now, like I said, Bitcoin is a kind of like one of these impasse moments. Like it just looks like it's going to lose this base and, and sink straight down. So it, it is it is critical to understand where a move is starting to break. You could even just look at it as a simple theory of compression. You haven't gotten there yet, Gamma? No worries, man. You can even just look at this as, as like a simple theory of compression, right? Like... You're compressing against polarity. First off, defining polarity is important. So what did you do here on this trade? Like walk through, walk through the most important steps you did. You defined polarity on the bottom side. You saw the ladder on the top side moving it down against polarity due to missed targets. And then you have your moment that shows the breaking of the top side, which is basically polarity top and bottom, right? Like the events on the bottom are already set. The events on the top haven't even gotten created yet. So. It, it, again, it, it's pretty important to see this because it's um, 
you know, a lot, I think a lot of times people would think like, oh my God, this is moving up. Look at this, look at this crazy like move, but this is just holding the bot. Like if you were to flip this chart, you know what this looks like to me? Go to a higher time frame. Go to go to like an hourly. You know what this looks like to me if you were to flip this chart? It it just looks like it's holding the base of its like the bottom side of its move, ready to rip through this target up up top here. It's like okay, it's dumping, it's retesting the dump, it's laddering off that retest. Now it's holding like delete this crap, delete this stuff to make it like more visible. Uh, maybe we need to actually delete that one, keep that blue one, delete this one here. Like, doesn't this just look like it's holding its move ready to break up? Oh, it just back tested some crazy polarity. Oh my God, look at that entry. And now all it's done is it's, it's oh Jesus, look at this hold level, dude. It's so good, man. The hold level held. And now, now it's holding like some, you know, origin point is laddering off of that. And you've got your trend here. This trend is holding it up, dude. Like this thing looks like it's ready to just like start ripping up out of its mind if you flip the chart, doesn't it? Like, doesn't it just look like, oh yeah, test at its final level, holding some origin point, has its breakout, holds breakout, has a hold level, hits its hold level, creates its trend, it's holding trend now, trend was entry, like if these were one minute candles, you'd be like, oh man, I gotta enter on trend, and if this just keeps holding, eventually it's just gonna like start going up, right, so, you know, perspective. And then you zoom into the chart here and you're like, oh, I don't know what's happening. Well, like, it's pretty obvious what's happening, I think. Like, this thing is just laddering out of its mind. Looks like it hit its top. To me, it looks like this thing's about to start dumping. To me. Go through floating levels today? No, I have a video on floating levels. I have lots of videos on floating levels, actually. There should be some in mentorship, too. Floating levels. I did some videos on floating levels. I have in Butterfly Effect, too. There's a floating levels video. And then we did, like, a really big deep dive in, in floating levels. So there's um a bunch of mentorship content that's going to come out in the future that we did over the past few months. But it's not ready to come out yet. So I, I did, like, a really crazy deep dive on floating levels. Like, three, three weeks straight of floating levels. Maybe about two or three months ago that um that will come out in the future for re replay olifs olifs i know you renamed yourself but yeah i we did like three weeks straight of like floating levels back like not too long ago you, you should have access to those not today but sometime in the in the near future So, yeah, it's really important to, you know, follow that architecture of the move. Again, just going back to last week, it's a little bit of a broken record at this point. But, you know, last week was the same thing when we were up here during the session. And I was like, oh, this, this thing looks like it's about to dump. Everybody always thinks Bitcoin's moving up, 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 up. But there are targets. And when targets get hit, you can see like, oh, the setup is there to break the move. And then if it it starts holding, you can see that's... You know, and now all you're seeing is like the long term effect of this move holding to, to break this thing way back down to 19K. If 19K holds, good for it. Good for 19K because if 19K holds, then, you know, maybe, maybe you can create accumulation off 19K. But otherwise, I don't think you can. Uh, it'll be, be, be pretty tough after, you know, you're going to be underneath the backside on the weekly. It's really got to hit that level and bounce rate right the hell off and move up straight. Like, yeah. Nineteen K better not hold. Want to flush the Marins out? I agree. I don't want nineteen K to hold. I don't think it can. I think you have to go back down to twelve K. Just simply test the base of this run up. It's it's very straight up. It's very straightforward. This thing moved up big. Couldn't gain its level. Go back down to retest it. You're either gonna test polarity, origin break, or both origin break and polarity, or the whole level. But you know, to stop here would be a little disappointing. Five minute hold level, one of the final things to hold this move to make it move up. Not really much else left. This five minutes already tested. So now you're here. Uh, trend, origin, deep dive, trend, reject, move back up. There's not a lot left on the bottom side. 
it's uh it's slowly chewing through the levels this this chocolate chip cookie only has a few bites left in it if you know what i mean um so let's move on to the metrics now let's move on to metrics while you can come back and look at bitcoin in a little bit here but